Hey, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a little bit since I made a video, but um, the older you get, the less time you have. So anyway, today I'm going to be talking about the Nest thermostat. And uh, what's special about this is it's a learning thermostat, so as you um, come home and cut on the heat, and then you may cut off the heat and then cut the heat on before you go to bed, then when you wake up and cut it off, um, and then you know when you leave the house it's set at one temperature and then somebody else may come home and turn it on so uh, it starts to learn your family schedule so eventually it'll get to the point where it will learn and know the way the um, heating and cooling pattern is in your house and um, it'll do it automatically so you won't have to touch it anymore and uh, you guys know I'm a big tech guy I'm into um, technology and, and, and gadgets and stuff and this is a really cool one, cool one. And um, something I like about this thermostat too is it um, you can download an app for it so you can control it from your mobile device. So I have an iPhone which is great so if I'm coming home and it's cold in my house I can see that on my phone and uh, cut on the heat to my house on my way home and warm up my house before, uh, before I get home. So this is the Nest Learning Thermostat and um, if I'm not mistaken it was this company was started by a guy uh, like uh, Joe Fidel or something like that that um, he used to work for Apple I believe he headed a team that was in charge of the first like 15 or 18 generations of the iPod and then the first three generations of the iPhone he uh, was in charge of that team so anyways uh, he started his own company called Nest and one of his first um, devices here is the learning thermostat and I love it it's a very modern sleek uh, 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 futuristic design but something that um, you know Apple is known for and you could definitely see the influence in Apple here is uh, simplicity a very user-friendly interface and that's what I like about it so I'm gonna open one up unbox it um, let you know what I think about it um, do an install show you that and um, average install time with this is about 30 minutes for your average person and um, these retail for about $249 a piece, so they're not cheap. It's $249 a piece, and uh, you can get them from Amazon, Lowe's, and uh, Best Buy. I bought mine from Best Buy. You know, Best Buy has the reward points, so I love buying stuff from Best Buy. So anyways, I'll switch the camera angle, and um, see, I got a couple here. So anyways, yeah, they're expensive, $249 a piece, and in my house, um, I have dual climate control, so... Um, which is nice. I'm able to um, cut on the heat or AC upstairs, and if you know we're only upstairs, then I don't have to uh, heat the downstairs of my house. So it's nice. It saves on your energy bill not having to cut on the heat downstairs and heat the whole house. But the downside is when I buy something like this, I need two of them. So one for upstairs, one for downstairs. So yeah, they're expensive, and um, but they're nice. I like it. So I'm going to switch the camera angle and get in here, and we'll unbox one of these so you can see. Alright, and here we go, the Nest Learning Thermostat, and let's uh, unbox it and check it out. Nice eco-friendly box. Tell they use recycled materials. Nest. Okay, and looks like we got to break the seal here. Looks like this will slide up. Okay, and uh, here's the inside. Very simple, and uh, yeah, this. Uh, Oh, and this is the second generation Nest thermostat. They have a first generation, and if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, like a brushed aluminum and then maybe chrome on the bezel halfway up, and it was a lot thicker. I think it was like maybe that much more thicker. So this is a nice, um, smaller, thinner one, if you will. And uh, I believe this one operates a little faster and the software is a little bit smoother. So... Um, Anyways, here it is right here, and I'll put that over here, and then let's look inside here. 
Let's see what we got. Take that out. This looks like your uh, instructions. And this is what it looks like in the inside. Looks like two mounting screws, and then uh, this is the base. And then you know your wires to your heating system come through here. And something that they did that's really easy. See, other thermostats have uh, the wires come through, and then when it connects to the terminals, you have to take a screwdriver and uh, mount the wire on the terminals and then tighten it up. This one looks a lot easier. You just push down here, put in the wire, and then let go. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Very simple. And uh, looks like they give you a screwdriver here. Nice. Screwdriver here, and if I'm not mistaken, huh, I know you're able to change these parts. There you go. So it looks like they give you everything in one. They give you the tool, the screwdriver, the tools under here. It looks like uh, mounting plates. Depending on what your wall looks like, you may want this in the background. So, you know, this would go on the wall, mount on the wall, and then your thermostat would go on here. Me, I like the sleeker, cleaner design, the way they have it on the box, where it's just on the wall right here. Um, I don't want to use a mounting plate, but depending on your house, you might not have the option. But anyways, it mounts on like that. Okay, and then you have, looks like a, uh, an aluminum one mounting bracket and it would go on like that on your wall. Or actually it looks like this would mount on and then this would go over it. Okay. Alright, put that back in here. So remember when you're doing any installation in your house that has, that has uh, electricity involved, obviously you want to go to your junction box or uh, 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 whatever it's called, your main fuse box and uh, shut off the power to your heating and cooling system or just shut off the power to your house if you're unsure which one it is. You know, you don't want to deal with electricity and have the power going while you're doing an installation. You know, you could damage your heating and cooling system, let alone you can get hurt. And uh, you can go to nest.com on their website if you bring it up and they have plenty of uh, installation videos and stuff like that in case you have any questions um, on how it works. Also, make sure your heating and cooling system is compatible with the new Nest Learning thermostats. Luckily, my house was only built a couple years ago, and um, so the Nest Learning thermostats work beautifully. So uh, I believe you can go on their website, nest.com, and you could check to see if your house is compatible with their thermostats. So definitely check that out before you go spend $249. So I'll now uh, go to the wall and um, I'm going to show cut scenes of the install because I've already done the install. So I'll cut to that so you can check it out. Okay. Okay, so when your installation is done, it should look like this. So remember, when you're disconnecting the old one, as you've seen in the pictures, uh, it may be white behind here, or the paint may be off, then, you know, the paint behind the thermostat may be different than how your walls are now, so you may want to buy some paint so you could paint it over to match with your existing color. Also, um, with technology nowadays, take a picture or record it on your camera or iPhone to uh, see the way the wires are or what they're labeled as before you disconnect them in case you forget. And that way you won't have any problems later. Something that comes inside the Nest thermostat um, instruction manual are these stickers to label the wires. I don't know if you guys can see, but anyway, so you could label each wire. That way when you go to connect them to the terminals, you know which ones they are. 
And something that Nest gives you right here is a built-in leveler, so you can see that it's straight. So once you're done with the install, and remember, cut the power first, but before purchasing anything, go to nest.com to see if your existing uh, heating or cooling system is compatible. So once you're done with the installation, you just snap this on, and then it will uh, give you a message. And it'll take you through the setup uh, where you live, your zip code, uh, heating and cooling system, and it's really, really easy. So once it's set up, as you can see here, sorry, it's a little bit of a glare. It's simple, you just turn it. So that is, the number in the middle is whatever temperature you wanna set it to. So 68, 69, and the hotter it gets, it will turn amber and it'll turn orange. You can hear my heating system cutting on. And then when it goes cool, it'll turn blue. Now that isn't blue, you have to press in and then you'd have to change it to cool or AC, you know, the way mine works. Is, so right there, heat, cool, heat and cool. But right now I'll just leave it at heat because it's winter time. So the temperature and that the number that it gives you in the middle is what you're going to be setting it to. And then the number, the smaller number that you see up there is the current temperature in your house. So something that I like about it too is it is it shuts off and it just stays uh, blank. And when you walk up to it, it senses you're next to it and then it lights up. Okay, so it's blank, off, and then when you walk in front of it, it cuts on. I like that, it's kind of cool. So you wanna go into the settings, schedule, energy, settings, and then from here, you have automatic fan, lock, um, Nest Sense, Reminders. I set the reminder to remind me when to change my air filter. But as you can see, it's very smooth. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see. Let me try and get in here. Very smooth, very easy user uh, interface. You can name which one you want to call it. Like, so here I have two, upstairs, downstairs. You could adjust the brightness. You can also set your location, zip code. Uh, the date as well as um, you connect it to your Wi-Fi as well but you need to go to nest.com create an account and then you can download the app on your iPad or iPhone or Android or whatever you have the little leaf there shows that it's in the mode where it's saving me the most energy so you want to go to nest.com create your account and then you want to go to the settings go to log in to Nest account and it will register itself and then when you sign in with the app it'll give you a uh, confirmation code that you put in on the app on your phone and then that's how your phone or iPad will talk to the Nest and they will link up that way and you're able to uh, control it from your phone. But anyways, it's very nice, very simple, sleek design and uh, I did it with no mounting plate behind it because I like the nice, simple, and clean install. I just like the way it looks just on the wall like nothing's there. Like I like a very nice, clean uh, installation. So this is very easy. If you notice, some, thermost some thermostats and some houses are very convoluted. You gotta cut it on, then switch to heat, and then use this other button up and down, and sometimes you don't even wanna tell family members how to do it because they may not understand. Obviously, this is very simple. You come home, you turn it, and that's just what it is. So, okay, done. So anyways, to confirm an, a uh, command, you turn it, and then you push, push in on it, and then that's what it does. So anyways, that's the Nest thermostat, Nest learning thermostat. Any questions, you go to nest.com. Uh, I think these are great. They're, they, yes, they are expensive. Um, this isn't something you just want to just go run out and get. This is a pretty hefty purchase, so... But I like it. I think it's great. And the ability to control it from your iPad or iPhone is great. On top of the fact, it'll learn your family's schedule. So you're maximizing when the heat's on. Because when you're away, it'll learn that as well. And it won't waste any energy. You won't even have to come home. You won't have to turn it off. It'll know you're away. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. 
positive, a 10 out of 10, whatever you want to call it, it's great. I bought mine from Best Buy and uh, I don't have any complaints. I love the Nest thermostat. Okay, and here's the app on my iPad. So you can name your house and um, you could set it to away or home and then you know I have one that says uh, downstairs and one that says upstairs so you touch it and then it brings it up and then you hit the arrow up or down and that's how you work the temperature from your iPad or iPhone and it's easy and then that's downstairs so very simple it's free in the App Store you download it install it remember you have to create a nest account first and then you can sign you'll log into that nest account from your thermostat itself it'll give you a code a code that you type in here on your iPad or iPhone and then they will sync themselves and learn each other and then that's how you'll be able to control it but that's a very nice feature there are other thermostats out there that allow you to control your heating and cooling from your phone but uh, I personally love the nest thermostat and uh, they're great so I would recommend them to anybody okay you guys take it easy